Okay, that's a lot better. Ah, okay. This is uh, John Moody with uh, uh, Moody Mystery, and we are now on episode eight of our of Ultima Five. I'll tell you what, we made a lot of those of you that didn't tune in. We actually made a lot of progress in the um, um, in the last uh, episode. Um, we we did we found out that the mystic weapons are have we have to descend through Hithloth and look in the lava. Um, we also we actually completed all of our shrine quests. Now when we when we did the last shrine quest for humility, the page turned and gave us a me message which is beyond shame's egress. In the center of the underworld, there is a place of darkness. Beyond this darkness lies the gate to the core of the world. When thou art ready, thou must call forth Veramacor to unlock the gate and venture past ethereal wards and stealers of souls. That which the world hath lost awaits thy coming. So apparently that's telling us that we're going to have, that there's kind of like one final dungeon. Does this sound familiar? Mm-hmm. Yep. We also found that Hithloth um, is also where the sh Shard of Cowardice is located. Or the last Shard, the sh yeah, the Shard of Cowardice, and we need to look in L-A-L-I. Okay. Uh, we, also, we also found... Um, we also thought we'd um, check out Saduj because he he talked about the oppression, and he wanted to he wanted to know its password. I think he's hiding something, but but we're not sure. Let's uh, I want to um, I want I want I want to I want to see if uh, if if Saduj, Saduj is hiding something, and when we left off, we actually. Um, uh, we talked to Tactus, who told us to see Judge, Judge Dryden, and in fact, we're we're um, that's going to be our next um, uh, next episode. We're gonna we're gonna see D Judge Dryden. Uh, D Judge Dryden, if you remember, lives lives in you. Uh, we also have learned pretty much everything we need to know about the Shadow Lords. And if you remember when we looked through the spy spyglass, we saw three comets. Um, as far as what I think about them, I'm going to have to say no comet. Okay, okay it tell it tells us an air of cowardice. Um, doth surround thee, so we're 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 that that's our that's our signal to Vamus. But what we're gonna do is we're going. If you remember, our mad mage Sutek told us that we need to um uh, we need to we need to call the uh, Shadow Lord. So essentially what we need to do is we need to go to the flame. Okay, this is a healer. So we somehow need to make it to the flame of love. Okay, looks like there's Lord Michael. Okay. This looks to be the flame of love. Okay, so what so what the uh, what the mage told us was to uh, so opposite of love is hatred. Let's just make sure that we have the uh, let's make sure that we have the um, uh, let's make sure that we have the shard items shard of hatred good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to call forth the um, Lord of Hatred, which is Astaroth. Okay, so we're going to yell. Ah, okay, let's uh, 
let's let's save it first in case that way in case we mess up uh, we at least we at least have a way out Okay. Okay, so let's so we're gonna yell okay, so let's let's hear yell. We're gonna yell Astaroth. Okay, and a Shadow Lord appears. Hi Shadow Lord We're not gonna tell you, but you realize you're gonna be you're gonna about you're it ain't no lie you're going to soon go bye bye bye. Okay, so we're gonna wait once. Okay, now he's on the flame, so we're going to use our Shard of Hatred. So we hold above the evil Shard of Hatred. And cast it into the flame of love. Okay, so so Astaroth. Uh, so Astaroth is is we're gonna say dead. Okay, so, and so that's that's how so that's how you kill the Shadow Lords now. Um, one question you may ask is, okay, how do you know that you've killed the Shadow Lord? You're like, okay. Oh, come on. Okay, looks like they're all going to bed. Come on, get get out of the way, y'all. Realize how annoying you know this is ah hello worlds of rogue how are you doing um oh well welcome to our ep episode I'm I'm doing I'm doing wonderful we're we've made a lot of progress here and we're um uh I don't know why these villagers aren't moving and letting me out. Oh, okay. Ah, what is deceit to falsehood sketch? Okay, what I um, worlds of rogue. Uh, what I did is, if you remember, a, a, a couple of episodes ago. Uh, what I did is I, um, the sisters gave me a path from deceit to the shard of falsehood. Now, what I did is I redrew, I drew their path, and 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 when I'm when I'm ready to go to the sh for the shard, I'm gonna pull up the map. And show that their the route that they suggested may may you know may maybe is is not a direct route, and so I tried what I did I sketched out the map to in order to see if there is a more direct way, and what I did is I have it down at the bottom so in case I get to it tonight, instead of fumbling around, instead of fumbling around you know waiting I can just pull 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 it up and uh, you know. You know, pull it up and show you real quick. It's it's kind of the first time I did something where I like really, you know, ch change scenes dramatically. Okay. Okay, that's Lord Michael. I think I think the guy. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get that far tonight. Let's see if I can go the other way down and Okay. There yeah. Okay, so now we're going to exit the the keep. And now the fact that it's nighttime, let's do something interesting. Let's do look through our spyglass. Now, if you look through our spyglass, you know you notice that there's only two red streaks by two of the dots. So what that means is one of the Shadow Lords has been quote-unquote killed. 
So now we only have, and we killed the Shadow Lord by throwing the, sh and I think you came on in, by throwing the, the, sh the shard of falsehood, no, the shard of hatred into the flame of love while the Shadow Lord was over it. Now that being said, that means we have two more Shadow Lords to take care of. I already know where the um, where the the shards are to be found. Um, um, they're both in the underworld. And um, now one. So what I'm going to do, if you if you notice my characters, you may notice that Jana is is actually the highest level. Um, I actually I actually did some off screen uh, grinding. If you remember that room with the the daemons in the corner, you know, off-screen grinding to get Jana so that she's eligible for level eight. And the reason I'm doing that is because uh, once once Jana gets to level eight, uh, Jana can cast the gate spell. And so and so the, the the underworld to get to get to the underworld is. You have to go, th if you remember, we have to go through a dungeon. And if you want to come back, you have to go through the underworld and go back up that dungeon. Well, instead of going, inst yeah, instead of going through all the dungeon, you know, go all the way back up through the dungeon. Um, let's, you know, if there's a way we can gate to a specific moon gate, it may even be able to take us out of the underworld. Okay, so let's see if there's. Uh, so let's talk to D Judge Dryden uh, of the oppression. This this is where this is where Judge Dryden sits. I'm just gonna pass the time. It's just morning. I think Judge Dryden's not a morning person. Ah, there's Judge Dryden. And I was supposed to tell him that Tactus sent thee. So let's talk to him. Yep, it is Judge Dryden. And I'm going to say oppression. Who sent thee? Tactus. I see. I think thou had best seen Archmage Flane. He will be eager to meet thee. Seek him in the Tower of Scarabray and ask him of the oppression. And it says, "Live by the eight laws." Now remember, uh, so we have to. So we're going to see Archmage Flane in in Scarabray. Okay, and of course we're gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna note that it was Judge Dryden. Now remember the oppression is 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 what is is actually Blackthorns what black what we're not really in favor of. We're not really in favor of the oppression. We're we're mainly we're mainly with the resistance. And it reminds me of reminds me of that South Park movie where they had La Resistance. Uh, that very first uh, South Park music with, you know, Ter Terrence and Philip. Okay, we're going to gonna go south. Okay, and if we remember, Scarabray is this way. Scarabray is this way now. Now the thing we need to do before we um uh be before uh before we really go back into the underworld um let's just sh let's show you something Notice how many gems we have we only have one gem Honestly, if we're going to go into the underworld, we need to get ourselves a whole a whole slew of gems. Yep, one gem. Okay, so Scarabray. Oh, why do you need gems? Gems I'll show you why. Gems actually allow us to see. So if we so if we view a gem, 
See, that gives us an outlay of the land. And when, when we're in the underworld, especially with the one of the, with the shards, you know, we're, we're in one case, we're actually blinking between, between caverns. So we need, we need a gem to show us like the, the lay of the underworld because the underworld, remember, is, is dark. And so the gems are going to help with mapping. That's why I went, that's why I pulled it up here. So here it's showing a map of the town, and it looks like that center tower is where we need to go. Ooh, so this looks like it's um, looks like it's uh, got skull keys. So, oh great, bats! Okay, now notice that it that it went back to um it went back to Okay, so we may have to do this a couple times. We may have to do this until See, every time combat re every time we have combat Uh, every time we have combat, the, um, the, 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 the key, the, the, it resets. I mean, the, 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 the locks reset. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. You have just have one job. Bat barely wounded? Phew. Okay, here we're going to let's try this one more time. Good. At least we're now in. Okay. Now I'm going to save this because uh because what because now now we're getting into oh, so let's let's so our karma's 99. Let's talk to the archmage. You see a dark and ominous wizard. Why hast why hast thou disturbed me, wretch? Sheesh. Oppression. This had best be important, for if it is not, who sent thee? Dryden. Dost thou wish to join the oppression? Well, I really shouldn't. But I'm gonna I'm gonna sp I'm gonna be a spy. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna kind of be like a, a a double agent. I'm gonna say yes. First, thou must prove thy allegiance. Tell me the name of a member of the Great Council, so we might dispatch the traitor. Oh shit. Holy shit. <sighs> well. Okay. Well, we know we know we know several of the members of the council. Uh, let's go let's go back and see. Okay. Well, we hate to turn them in. T tell yourself. Okay, let's let's. You know what? Let's let's try that. Let's see if it works. I do not believe thee. Be gone, fool! Before I blast thee. World of Rogue, I like your idea. Oppression. Dryden? Yes. Okay, well, I hate to, I hate to, well, now if I wanted to, I could, I could get, I could give the name, and then I could save scum, but I'm not. Because what I'm going to do is I am going, I am going to give up Anan. Ah, very good. 
just as we suspected. That one will soon perish. Now, to further the I acceptance in our order, go see Elistaria on the northeasternmost isle of Britannia. Say to her the password, Impera. Okay. Now, you notice that my karma is still 99. Now, the reason I chose Anon is I know where he lives. And so what I'm going to do is every so often, I'm going to check in on Anon and see if they actually kill him. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now now we found the password. And and th this is an interesting thing about this game is it it kind of gives you an eth ethical dilemmas. Now, um, if you've noticed, if you look at Jana, you notice that Jana has enough points for level eight. Enough experience points for level eight. So let's see, is there anyone else that's eligible for a level up? Jana's the only one. Gweno just did. Mariah's good. Jo Iolo's good. John's good. We're out of gems, so let's hole up and see if um, British comes. Are we going to have... Does it really matter if they kill him or not? Well, I don't know. It's an interesting question, you know, because, because we kind of did, we did turn our back on someone who trusted us. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to do the I'm going to do the save the save scumming trick um uh, un until I get until I get an apparition. But yeah, that that's see, and that's 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 the thing about this game. If you remember Ultima 4 was, "Oh, let's just be these good as goody two shoes." And now all of a sudden it's like now, now, no, now things are no longer black and white. They're now, they're now shades of gray. I, th I think, I think maybe fifty shades of gray. And of course, you have to wonder the question. You know, maybe what we're doing is we're we're trying to get some information from from Saduj, who I don't really trust. Okay, it looks like Lord British uh, apparition's never going to come. Okay, who will stay? Oh, good. The apparition finally showed up. Okay, Jana has now gone up to level 8. Okay, now Jana is at 240 hit points. By the way, level 8 is the maximum level that one can attain. So now, now we are at, now John is at the maximum level. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do something mean to Jana. We're going to, we're going to take, a, we're going to, uh, no, let's leave, let's leave her with, I was going to take away her magic axe, but the thing is we don't know. We, we may, we may need her firepower. 
Okay. Let's see, darn it, did we have a, a ship? No, we didn't have a ship there. Okay, so I'm trying to look to see if we put a ship. I thought maybe we had a ship somewhere uh, somewhere in this area. No, we didn't. Or maybe, yeah, maybe, I think maybe we, yeah, maybe we left it north. Uh, maybe we left it north close to the, I think we may have left one close to the, uh, to the, to, to the town, of, to the town of you. If I remember, I think the town of you, I mean, no, not the town of you, Minnick. Ah, we're getting, ah, oh, there it is. So there's the ship. Uh, no. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go we're gonna go into the town because remember remember keep in mind that we don't like to um we don't we don't like to sail at night uh, but we're gonna go up here we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to the tree and we're gonna get our keys let's find a ring of keys five odd keys. And we're just going to sit here and we're just going to pass the time until it gets light again. Um, I, I, where I'm wanting to tra travel to, I'm wanting to travel to uh, Buccaneer's Den. Uh, because in Buccaneer's Den, they actually have something uh, special that we can buy. Specifically, invisibility rings. And the reason we need invisibility rings is because it's going to. Uh, and what invisibility rings do? Remember, remember, if they're if the, the par, all of the party is invisible, the monsters eventually will flee because they don't they don't see us. So I think I think Bucket, you know, I think it's about due north. We want to go to Buccaneers Den. It's about due north. Oh crap! Unfortunately, you know, you know what we did. You see that that we've um. You see that we don't have any more gems, so we're almost gonna we're almost gonna have to get lucky. Now you may say, what about a sextant? Well, so far we haven't found a any a sex. Tent. Uh, but you know what we should probably do. Let's talk. Let's talk in here. Let's see, you know, name, Bidney. We're going to ask everyone about a sextant. Nope, I think Bidney gave, was the mountain climber, if I remember. Ooh, cool, green potion. See, this is, this is the, um, this is, um, this is the, um, guild. Ooh, that's cute. Let's see if that helps. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to search. Okay. And a fine afternoon to thee, Wayfarer. I am Dam, and I here at the Nemesis we've got it all. Mayhap I can show it to ye. Okay, so let's get some gems. Two hundred and forty-seven frickin' gold for four gems? Well, yeah. That's highway robbery. Okay, we're gonna buy, and see we buy. Guitar sells invisibility rings. You know, I think of invisibility rings; they are out of sight. Uh, 
Okay, and so I think what we're going to do... Okay, uh... You pirate, I am called Sven. Sextant? No. Ship? Airships sound like a heap of nonsense if were to ask me. I need a drink. She's Sven. Okay, I think that's Joffrey, if I remember. Joffrey the fighter. You see, a chubby old bard, I am called Scally. Entertain. <laughs> I like that. Why well, is the best singer in this whole town? Of course, I is the only singer in this whole town. No matter. Would you likes me to sing ye a song there, mate? Yeah, sure. There once was a pirate named David so crotchety and misbehaved. And then one day he sailed away, only to where he would not say. Pirate, really no nasty old bloke I hear, David. No one knows just where old David is off to, but I hear he's speculating, he's speculating he's running a lighthouse. Okay, yes. Uh, so she's going to... Let's see if she knows about the sextant. No, but, but it seems like our best lead is David. Maybe David the pirate has the sextant. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna we're just gonna rest. Okay, so we're just gonna rest. We're gonna like sleep off sleep off our minor wounds till morning. Okay, so morning. Okay, now the um, if um, hmm. So right now, what we need to do is we need to get before we go into the dungeons. We need to get we need to get us some gems. Now we could buy gems, but I'd I'd prefer to uh, I'd prefer to go go the other way and just uh, defeat monsters. Sorry, I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay, well. Okay, well, what we're what I'm hmm, I'm, I'm getting I'm, I'm thinking of some ideas. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. OK, 
Okay. Well, what I'm going to do... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to go, I'm, hmm, for now I'm going to go into this room and I'm going to, um, I'm going to, if you remember how we got through it before, Let's see. Okay, so let's go. Let's do some dungeon exploring. Okay, so let's ignite our torch and let's uh, let's get our crown ready because you never know. Remember, the crown protects us from magical attacks. Okay, I know for a fact that these gazers don't um, don't aren't gonna aren't gonna give us any any like real treasure. So I'm just going to escape them. What I'm really interested in, I'm interested in treasure. So that's going to take us deep. Let's go down. Okay, I saw a gremlin, but that gremlin's not going to really do much in terms of treasure. Nope, don't see anything on this level. Climb up. Okay. Okay, great. There's a ghost. Again, ghosts aren't going to really do anything for us treasure-wise. They don't leave any treasure, so why not? we're just going to... Okay, nothing there. Sometimes there's a reaper. Sometimes there's a reap. Okay. Again, another gazer. They're not gonna, gazers aren't going to give us any treasure, so we might as well. Now you say we could fight them for the experience, but gazers only give you, I think, like five or six experience points. Oh. Well, it looks like we're going to have to fight these slimes. Really? Oh, up from some friendly fire. What we're going to do is we're just going to get all these, we're going to just let these... Okay, so now what we're going to do is now that I'm by myself, they're all the all the bats are going to escape. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take out some bats. Pick up a pick up minor experience points. The things about bats is they're just annoying. I mean, they're, they're about, it's like, okay, killing bats really gives you no experience, very little experience points. There's a whole bunch of them. They're not worth fighting. Unfortunately, here we were forced to.
Ooh, cool, a hidden door. Hmm, interesting. So it looks like level six is a bunch of hidden doors. I'm going to climb down further. I'm going to save the game here. Okay. Oh, oh, great. Ooh. I'm thinking, what do I want to do? Oh, crap! The ladder moved. Great. OK, so what I'm going to concentrate on, I'm going to concentrate on killing those sea serpents. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do with John, I'm going to make John invisible. See, John right now is probably our most vulnerable member of the party. So what I want to do is I want to make I want to make him invisible. That way stu um monsters don't target John. I mean, I don't mind if they target Gweno. Now, sea serpents have a decent amount of experience points, so it's worth it to finish them off. So let's now finish this one off. Now, you notice we're being attacked by slimes. But honestly, slimes are the least of my worries. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of the sea serpents. Then I can. Then I'll concentrate on. Okay, so now I'm gonna concentrate on the slimes. Keep in mind, this may take a while, because remember, slimes can divide. Now, that being said, I think the fact that slimes can divide is a good thing, because that's it's not a lot of experience, but it will give us some more experience points. Okay, so we're, we keep okay. So it looks like this is a this is a dungeon where the ladder keeps moving. Now, by the way, some of you may you may say, "Well, we're wasting our time here." Remember, this is the dungeon where we have to go through in order to get to our in order to get to the final in order to get to the final dungeon. So if we can clear out some rooms it would actually be to our benefit. Okay, so let's keep on fighting the slimes. These last couple ones are really stubborn. Okay, now whenever it says victory, that usually me that usually means that it's um that that the the dun the room is cleared. 
Okay, so the room is cleared, so now we're going to exit out of it. And, may, and see if we can find some either rooms or you know what where we can get some treasure. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, crap. Love it. Okay, so we're going to save here. Let's see what this room gives us. Hmm. Okay, this is interesting because I have a feeling there's some... Ah, there's some wisps back there. Hmm. I'm just, we're just, I think we're just going to exit this room. I don't see any need, you know. Ah, this is where we were before. Now keep in mind, this is the disadvantage of having no keys. I mean, no gems. So now we can see what's north. Okay, there's some ghosts, but you see there's some treasure chests up there. So come on, ghosties, come to come to Papa. Okay. So it looks like we're we're some ghostbusters. Wait a minute, Moody. Wait a minute. I f what do you mean you don't have any gems? I thought you bought four from that, um, uh, four from the merchant. Okay, now, you notice we killed all the ghosts, but you notice it did not say, you notice it did not say, uh, you know what yet. So there's something else. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to see if there's any monsters. Ah. Ah, there are some wisps. Okay, so I'm going to have Moody go forward. Ooh, these are some pretty awesome chests. You know what? I have an idea. I have an interesting idea. Guess what we're going to do? Now, you notice when I go back in the room, you notice you notice that the ghosts re that the ghosts regenerate. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to kill some more ghosts. We're gonna just gonna leave the wisps alone. Rem rem remember, remember, remember that as long as as long as as long as you don't um oh let's try something. Let's see. Let's see if the oh okay. I I thought some I thought the um. I, okay, oh yeah, it doesn't, the, 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 the axe doesn't, the magic axe does not go through doors. Okay, so again, what we're going to do is John's going to unlock it. And let's see if we, let's see if some, one of these chests doesn't have some gems in it. So far, we haven't gotten any gems yet. Well, so much for that idea. I'm gonna assume I'm gonna assume that there's no gems, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna just 
Ah, you see there, there's one on the west. Okay. Here's a, there's a bunch of bats. I wouldn't say a bunch of bats, but there's some bats. Now, my worry is that this being that this is a level 8, I mean, having killing, killing six bats is child's play. So I'm just wondering if there's something more. Okay. Holy shit, two magic bows. Ooh, we finally got some gems. And notice that they didn't give us the victory. So there must be something lurking back there. Okay. But the fact is that we're so now we're in an area where we can we can uh, we can pick up uh, we can actually pick up some treasure with very little risk. Okay, so Moody, let's go. Let's go back and let's um. Okay, so let's look. Let's go to the south room. Oh, this looks this looks interesting. Okay, this looks like we've got okay, so we've got some we've got a rat. Okay, so we got rid of the rat. So we got some trolls ends and um so let's go after let's go after them. So we're just what we're doing is we're just doing we're doing some battling. We're 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 trying to get gems, but instead of and we're and we're like Mr. Krabs, we're too cheap to buy the gems, so we're just going to do some battling. Ah, uh, come on, Etten, these Etten's usually Etten sometimes leave treasure. I'm not I'm surprised that these haven't. Okay, so we there, there are, we had a troll that left some treasure. Okay, good. Finally a net that left some treasure. So now we essentially have monsters that can't really go anywhere.
Okay, so that's all of them. Okay, so let's search. Doesn't seem to be a trap. Good. Doesn't seem to be a trap. Again, no trap. Okay, this one gave us this one gave us a couple a gem. Let's go west. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like we're in the land of hidden doors. Okay. Ooh! Oh! 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 Look! Look! Gems! 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 Oh! Ah! Oh my God! Did I just die and go to heaven? Okay. <laughs> Gems! <laughs> okay, let's see. Who wants to wants to be the one responsible for killing the Reapers? Uh, <laughs> look at Mariah look at Mariah's experience points. Mariah, you're not doing any more battling. Your, your experience points are going to stay right there. YOLO. So we're going to get YOLO to uh, come to the front. So YOLO, you're going to be the one that's going to it's going to battle the Reapers. Because remember, you, you Reapers are going to leave us some pretty good treasure, and they actually give us decent experience. Now you notice those Reapers can't fight back. The Reapers can't... Oh, come on. Why don't... See, the Reapers, be, uh, being that we have our crown on, they cannot shoot any magic bolts at us. Now, we probably should not have killed everything, but that's all right. Okay, wow, it's no trap for a while. Wow, okay. We got some cool treasure. A complex trap, good. Not much, but it's another chest. Okay, three gems. Five, four, eight, four, six, eight. Four, seven. <sighs> I'm just gonna try something. Oh darn, I thought maybe the gems would respawn. Okay. Oh yeah, so yeah, I forgot we have to go east. Oh yeah, this is this room again. Now notice that once you clear a room, the room is permanently cleared. Okay, let's see. Are there any other hidden doors? Nope. Hmm. Well, I was hoping there'd be some gems in here, but no such luck.
Now we did find the ladder down to the underworld. Now if I remember, I think our original ladder was was um east. So we're going to we're going to go east and we're we're going we're going to go back up. Oh no, no what? Moody. Try to tell, hey, 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 try to tell, how are you doing this evening? Hope you're doing well. We're, we're, we're dungeon, we're dungeon hopping. I, I hope, I hope your turn, I hope your turning went, I hope your turning went well last night. I hope you, um, hope you finished, uh, top of your group. Ooh, light snow. Wow. Well, I'm not sure what you would rather have, light snow or bitterly cold. This morning I we had we had I think we we had 3. Which actually which actually wasn't too bad. It did get did get a you know, but I I just as I said always with with snow always I always worry about safe travels. Okay, good. This is the um Look at that. Come on, ladder. Aren't you going to stay in one spot? Oh, this ladder's being a jerk. Finally, okay. Ooh, ouch. Well. I'll, I'll be honest with you, you know, try to till. I'd say my last... I, I last I'd say my last three tournaments, uh, the one in December and the two in January, have actually done. I actually did well on them. Uh, two thirds and a two thirds and a fourth. Okay. Oh yeah. So let's go north. I think this was the one where yeah. Ooh. Let's view a gem, okay. Now, well, I'll be on. I'll be honest with you. Walking Dead. Uh, Walking Dead was one, not one of my favorites. Oh crap. <sighs> okay. Okay, so it looks like All right, cool. Excellent on on getting um get, getting getting the rush. Hopefully that will um. Okay, let's see how many um, let's see how many uh. Oh, we we now have fifty seven gems. That's a pretty good number of gems, I would say. We have enough music pins to have a music pin tour. Uh, try to tilt. I have a question for you. The la the last several pins that came out, which of the which of them were not music pins? <laughs> I mean, like, okay, Led Zeppelin music pin, Rush music pin, Guns N' Roses music pin. I'm trying to remember what was before that. Uh Oh crap! I, oh well, at least Godzilla and yeah, Mando, Godzilla. I forgot about those, but still. Yep. Oh, 
Hot Wheels, I, you know. Sorry, I'm just I'm just so I'm just thinking of all the all of the all of the 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 the, ma the music pins that I'm forgetting about the uh, the others. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fly I'm going to I'm going to fly west because I mean east because if I I remember correctly the um the, the the dungeon the, the dungeon is deceit that's the one we're looking for oh Valhalla yeah now Christ stand corrected there's there's a there's actually a lot more a, a lot lot of the pins that are actually that are non music pins so Okay, if I remember, I think we have to go north. Yeah, you have to go. Oh, okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll explore in the desert. We'll at least go with some exploring in the desert. And, um, okay, our karma is 99. So we'll explore in the desert. And, hey, maybe if, maybe we'll run into a, um, uh, maybe we'll run into a sand trap. Which will give us lots of good, which will give us lots of goodies and maybe a few gems. Okay, good. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, we had to go. Oh yeah, I think we had to go north here. Yeah, I think we had to go north. Oh crap, maybe not. Maybe you can't. Maybe we can't get from here to there. Oh wait, well, okay. Oh yeah, we oh. And that 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 right there is the dungeon. Okay, now what I'm going to do though before before I enter the dungeon, I'm going to I need to I need I need to I need to I need to my uh my uh my mage is eligible for level oh my oh my age did my mage did get level eight silly me okay so now we're gonna mix so now we need to mix some reagents for for what ske, uh, spell okay so here we need we need to we need to look we need to look up our spells won't be Sunday, yeah. Okay, so it looks like the spell is Vos Rel Pour. Okay, and it takes Ash, Pearl, and Mandrake. And let's mix five of them. Okay, try to tilt. Thank you for stopping in. If you're, if you're streaming, I hope to, hope to catch you soon. Because...
Okay, now I'm going to mix spell for inflam her. Inflam her, and that requires ash, moss, and mandrake. And I am going to mix 25 of them. I'm going to mix 25 of the of those spells. Inflam her. Now I'm going to I hope I hope to um I'll mix spells for in Nox her. Let's see. That's ash, moss and nightshade. Ash moss and nightshade and we're going to mix 20 of those okay now the other spell we're going to mix is the um um in wis which just requires nightshade we're going to mix we're going to mix 20 of 25 of those okay so the in flom her that's a flame wind spell the in knocks her that's poison wind um vosrel pour is our gate spell and um in wis is our location spell And again, right now, I don't see any any need to to summon Lord British yet because I mean to 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 hole up in camp because there's no um. Okay, we got attacked by some skeletons. We'll just just get out, just retreat, get out of the way. Okay. There's a squid. We don't mind. We don't mind killing you know killing squids because they will they will give us some experience. Uh, decent amount of experience and they they they, they may only um, they may only uh, occasionally throw some uh, poison our way okay good a sea serpent again more decent experience uh, the only drawback is they don't give us treasure Okay, so right now what we're gonna do, we're ready to go into dungeon deceit, and uh, and look for the second look for the second shard. Although I will say our 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 um, our, um, our team's taking a bit of a beating, so we may need to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ready Velma. I think we have some regeneration rings. Yeah, I'm going to have Velma wear a regeneration ring. Okay, headlesses, they're, 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 no big, they're no big deal, so we're just going to... They don't really help us that much. Okay, another squid. Uh, good, we got two squids. We'll, we'll, we'll kill them. Kill the squids because, hey, you know, it's... You know, experience points and now you notice my Velma did um uh, did increase in uh, exp in uh, increase in hit points. That's because Velma's wearing a regeneration ring. Keep in mind the regeneration rings do not stay around forever. Okay, there is an insect swarm. And can I be give you my opinion of insect swarms? They really bug me. Oh, great! There's a whirlpool. You know what? I am like heck. I am getting even remotely close to that whirlpool. 
Okay, so this is the dungeon deceit, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna yell phallex. I think that's the word of power for deceit. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna quit and save. Okay, so we're gonna ignite the torch. Okay, it says bottomless pit. Ooh, okay, there's a there's a Okay, climb down. Always want to be careful. Okay, so let's go after these daemons. Now fortunately, because we have our... Fortu fortunately, because we have our... Um, our crown on, the daemons are not going to possess us. So the daemons are not going to try to charm us, they're not going to try to possess us. Okay, John is getting a little low on it. On, ooh. Oh crap. Okay, we probably let's ignore that, Damon, and let's start. Let's start. Okay. Let's start working on this one. Cuz this one's coming for us. Okay, now what we're going to do with Gweno is we're going to give Gweno an invisibility ring. Oh, crap! Okay, this is not good. This is not good, y'all. Oh, Jonna got hit. Let's give John an invisibility ring. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna have Gweno cast a Manny on herself. I'm gonna have Yolo cast an another Manny on Gweno. Because it's like, okay. Okay, so we've got the victory. Now, the bad news is that uh, is that um, the main character. You notice that John that uh, Velma fled. Velma fled through. Fled the the ladder. So that means everyone must go up the ladder to to get out. Okay, so what the now so we're going to save it again. But now what this means when we go down, you see that the um you see that the way is clear. And there's no demons. So we're going to go down again. Oh, Moody. You suck. I'm not saying that in a bad way, but Moody, really? You wanted to climb down, but you clicked on up. Climb down, okay? Okay, let's climb down before the sp the spider gets us. Ooh. Let's go down this ladder. Okay. I'm gonna quit and save. Now remember what I'm going to do, no, okay, no. Let's have Gweno. Let's have Gweno do the honors. Gweno doesn't have a shield, so Gweno can, can wield a, um, I believe Gweno can wield a, uh, a Morning Star. So we're going to have, what Gweno's going to do, So this is how we're going to kill the rats. Notice that there's no risk to us. Okay, so we don't see any wisp there. Okay, so I think there were some wisps hiding. Okay, good. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna go north. We're gonna have everyone go north. Okay. Okay, so everyone's going north. We're leaving. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to hole up here in camp. We're going to have Velma stand guard. Okay, it looks like we were ambushed by a single gremlin. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have Velma remove her regeneration ring. And we're going to have the two characters that really need it put on some regeneration rings, Yolo and Gweno. Okay, we're going to try holding up again. Let's try holding up again. Velma's going to stand guard. Now, you notice that Gweno's and Jana's um, hit points are slowly increasing. That's a result of the, um, the, the regeneration rings. Okay, and good. They actually got some decent rest. Okay, so let's view. Ooh, this, one's, this one looks complicated. Okay, so it, uh, it, I, so it looks like we have a, a, a hidden door to the south. Oh, cool, we got a chest. Wow, 14 through 2 keys, cool. Oh, a Reaper, cool. What we can do is we can actually fight, we can fight the Reaper. Uh, we we can uh, we can fight the, we can fight the reaper for um oh got two of them cool Okay, let's kill that Reaper. Come on, Reaper. And the good thing, once Reapers get critical, they can't leave. Oh, come on. Why didn't that one leave a chest? Okay, good. Okay, Rad Verd, how it's going great. How are you doing this evening? Okay, so let's see what our it looks like our best wet bet is due south. I think cuz I think that southern room, it's either the northern room or the southern room is the room where is the room that we uh, exit the underworld. You notice that there's no ladder down. Wait a minute, I hold on. I forgot. I see it. Uh, I can't. I can't just leave and. I forgot there's another secret door. Hmm. 
Nothing back there. Nothing back there except the spider. Okay, I'm doing great, Radivera. Hope you're doing great this evening. We're... Okay, a ring has vanished. That means that... Okay. Ugh. Now, so what we're going to do here, you see there's two dragons here. Now, the problem... The problem with the dragons is they can, um, they actually can, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to, there's a couple ways we can do this. No, note, the good thing about the morning star, you notice that, that the morning star can reach over obstacles. And so what we're doing is we're using we're using this we're using the column that's directly t below us to the south of us. Yeah, I will agree the, the the graphics are much better. So come on. So we got the dragon to heavily wounded. Come on, dragon, die already. Okay, good. That dragon finally died. Now, so what we're going to do is now we're going to go after this dragon. So now we're gonna we're trying to kill this dragon. So this dragon's being stubborn. And the reason we want to kill this, we want to try to clear the room. If we can clear the room, if we can clear the room, if we can clear the room, that means when we come, oh oh I forgot we're not coming back up through here. But I still like to the, eliminate the dragons anyway, just because... This is taking forever, sheesh. Okay, good. So now, oh, crap. So we better let our other characters start getting in. Okay, so we let's, let's so let's kill some bats. Okay, come on, bats, headlesses. Radverd, I hope you've been doing well. We've made a lot of progress here in Ultima 5. We're actually about to uh, go into the underworld again. Uh, this time, at least, we're going to do it intentionally. Uh, there was actually one time where I was just sailing along my ship and I hit a whirlpool. And all of a sudden, it's like everything, you know, pretty much I, my ship sank into the underworld. Uh, with only, I think, like three gems. I don't know how many gems I had, but it wasn't many. OK, 
Okay, let's see if I can't get these, um, kill these headlesses. They're being annoying. Well, this wasn't really a bat ambush. This was a, um, a hidden switch that, uh, triggered, that triggered, uh, the appearance of bats. It's, it's kind of different from an ambush, but still, you don't want to have to deal with, you know... Personally, I'd, ra I'd I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't mind a bat ambush because at least with a bat ambush, I can at least, um, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty easy to kill. Okay, now, by the way, headless, headless chests... There's not a lot in there, but still, it doesn't hurt. Because you also get things like food. And, and, and by the way, food, torches, they're always, they're, 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 they never go out of style. So now we're going south. What we're looking for, we're looking for a ladder down to the underworld. Okay, oh crap. Okay, so we're going to get back. Okay, um Gweno, Gweno's uh Gweno's going to do Gweno's going to do her thing again. Now the so you may say, well, why why are you just having Gweno only? Why aren't you advancing the other party members? Because the dragons can actually shoot through those gaps, and I don't know if you about know anything about dragon fireballs. They 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 hurt. Notice that dragons are pretty sturdy. We it took us about three or four hits. Just to get a dragon from, uh, um, from uh, just to lightly wounded. Okay, I, I hope this doesn't take forever because I really would I really would like I really would my goal is actually to get the shard of um uh to get the shard of falsehood and to use and to use to use the nice map that I prepared. Now, now I, as I said, I could move. I could move around, but if I would, I don't want to risk. I don't want to risk a situation where I'm where, where I'm vulnerable. Come on, dragons, come on, come to Papa. Okay, dragon, how many more times are you going to be critical before you just die already? Thank you. Come 
Come on, dragon. Come on, dragon. Yep, there you go. Good dragon. I know, I know this is very unexciting, but... But, but wouldn't you agree I want to keep my party alive? Isn't that a good idea? Keep the party alive. Or keep everyone alive. Come on, come on, dragon. Come to pop already. Finally, we got the dragon heavily wounded. Finally, got the dragon critical. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, if we weren't wearing the crown, um, we would be, let me tell you something, we'd be in a whole heap of trouble. Because one thing dragons can do is they can gate, they actually can summon daemons. And so the last thing we need is have, having ten daemons to, to fight, all of, all of who can, can possess us. So there's nothing like having our entire party charmed. Come on, dragon, die already. Finally, thank you. Okay, now, now I, okay, so we're going to have, I, I think, I, I think, I think, so we're, when we're leaving this room, I'm just going to, I'm going to, going to give, give back the magic axe to Gweno. Watch it happen again. Oh, oh, great, another headless, another, not more headlesses. Okay, let's kill some headlesses. Okay. Let's let's kill the headlesses. Okay, good. That everyone's dead. I'm not even I'm not even gonna give a hoot about that um that treasure chest.
Now, by the way, you, some of you may be wondering, which one, you know, I would love to get those hand, my hands on those dragon chests, but I have tried every way to get one of those pillars to go down, and I was not able to. Okay, so we're going to keep on going south. We're going to save it here. Yes, it's dark. Okay, ooh, this is interesting. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Velma. Uh, Velma's going to do, do uh, I'm going to, uh, Velma's going to under, undergo a bit of a makeover. Uh, Velma's going to um, going to put on an invisibility ring because we're going to have her, and she's going to. Oh darn! I was, I was hope I was hope. Um, oh darn! I was hope I was hoping she'd have a hal halberd, but we'll just have to have her go with a morning star. And so what we're going to we're going to have her the active one. Okay, so there's there there's obviously a troll in there. So we killed the troll. Okay, now if I remember correctly, sometimes we have to we have to we have to fire axes at various things. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go back to Velma. We're going to get rid of Velma's Morning Star. We're going to give her back her magic axe. So let's have her search the trap. Okay, now obviously we've got things in there. Now the reason I'm... So let's have her do this. Okay, ah. There's a there's an Etten. The good thing about this Etten is this Etten is a sitting duck. This Etten is not knowing what's hitting it. And there's another Etten. Okay, so now now we're going to now we're going to go now we're going to open this chest. That's a little bit better. Now there's still something. Oh great, there's a dragon. But you see, the dragon doesn't know that we're there. So you may say, why isn't the dragon firing back at you? The dragon's, the dragon's firing at the, 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 the creatures above that it sees. So what I can do, I essentially can just pound on this dragon all day. Okay, so now I have two dragons. Two dragons who do not know that I'm there. This is pretty cool. And I'm like, hey, ooh. So now I'm going to take care of it, the, the dragon, that second dragon. And I'm just gonna just gonna hit let A hit A down. I said usually I usually I go for about usually I go for about two hours, but I but I'm gonna go a little bit longer if I get the if I get the shard. Okay, finally. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rem I'm gonna remove my invisibility ring because victory you hear that victory scream that means that all the monsters are dead. So now I'm going to loot, oh, not much, but look, there's another chest. Ooh, got some shields. Got some gems. Okay, ooh, wow. Claw, ooh, two-handed, couple two-handed swords, ooh, two chain mail. 
Scroll, we're, we're making, wow, okay. So now what we need to try to do is we need to, we need to try to find a way to open up that bottom. So this is where we start shooting at, shooting at various, uh, shooting at uh, various things. You know, shooting at walls until we find until we find the one that works. Nope, not that one. So we'll go back to Mo we'll go back to Velma. Oh, there we got it. We got it. We finally got it. So now we're so now we're going into the underworld. Okay, so now we are in the underworld, and I'm going to save the game here now. Um, if if you remember, if you remember the, a while back, some sisters gave us directions to the shard of falsehood, and I'm actually and I'm actually I'm actually going to I'm actually going to read the directions, and and I actually drew I actually drew a little map. Okay, so here's this. This is okay. So this is the map. So this is the the map from deceit. So um okay, so the shard of falsehood is found below deceit. You go southwest across some mountains which opens into caverns. Then you then you go southwest to northwest and then you see a path which branches northeast. So then you journey north, and then and then that path turns towards the west, where you encounter some rocky hills, where you go southwest to northwest. And then and then once you go northwest, you're going to go over a lake through a series of falls, which ends in a larger lake. The shard is on the island. So now if you look and see what I've done, you see, I've I've mapped out from deceit. I've 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 I mapped I mapped out. I follow the directions now. You notice that's a bit of a circuitous, um, a bit of a roundabout way. So what I'm saying is, went from deceit. We're gonna go west, and then we're gonna we're gonna maybe veer slightly northwest until we run into a lake. That's what that's my plan. That way I don't have to blah, 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 you know go through all of this. Because the thing about falls is so if let's say we go cascading over a series of falls, remember the trip is only one way. You know cuz you can go down down a waterfall, right? Can you go up a waterfall? Um no except maybe in some weird cartoons. Okay? So right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of ignore the directions and I'm going to kind of go more towards the west. Yes, Kanye, west. Okay. Well, I'm going to gather up all my papers here, my um my my, my papers. I um so so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put so so this is this is the map this is the map that I drew so um, so worlds of rogue I know you were asking about the map I don't know if you're still here but if if you are here we actually finally got to got to got to use the map okay so we're gonna, so we're gonna ignite a torch 
Are you going to ignite a torch and we're okay? So you see there's some impassable mountains. So we're going this is this is why we need our gems. Okay, so it looks like we're going to go southwest. Okay, so now we're in a cavern. So now we're going to break out the magic carpet. Okay, darn that earthquake. So let's view a gem. Hey, I see a path to the west. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to exit my magic carpet. I'm just going to go due west. There's another path. Okay. Oh, look, I see a la oh, I see a lake. I see I see water over there and I think there's an island. Okay, so you know I know what I'm going to do. Heck, I avoided all those stupid falls. And there it is, the shard of falsehood. Victory is mine. Well, not yet. We still have a lot more to do. Okay. Now. Okay, now you know so you know what it's know what we're going to have to do now. Guess what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to go all the way back. Or do we? Okay. So what watch so now we're gonna cast our magical spell. We're gonna cast our gate spell. Uh it's Vas Rel Poor. Now it's an eight it's a spell of the eight circle, so only Jana, who's eighth level, can cast it. Jana's level eight, so we're gonna cast and watch this everyone. Be 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 prepared to blown away. We are in the underworld. So we're going to set active spirit. Vos Rel Poor. And it's going to say to what phase? I'm going to try I'm going to try phase two. Okay, where are we? Well, there's a moon gate. So we're going to go we're going to we're going to go around the moon gate until it gets until it gets until the moon gate goes down. It's going down so we're getting O M G. Look at where we came back to. We actually came back to Britain. We we actually came back to Britain and so we now we now have the shard of falsehood. So now we have gotten two we have gotten two out of the three shards. The only shard that's left, and it's probably gonna be the toughest one, is cowardice, because we're gonna have to mix a number a, a fair number of blink spells. Let's see if there's anyone that's eligible for a level up. Not Gweno, Mariah, no, Iolo. Oh crap, Mariah doesn't have 666 hit, uh, experience anymore. Yes, Rata Verity, that was nice. I'm, I, I am tickled. I am just literally tick tickled like you won't believe. Um. So what we're gonna? So I'm gonna. Uh. So let's see who. Whoa. Let's whoa. Who, uh, we we got we got a we got a bunch of people. Let's see. Ooh. I'll tell you what. We're gonna um st uh, stick around for the raid. I don't know if you like re um, retro pinball, but Wild Dog Arcade is actually streaming. 
is is go, is streaming the original Black Knight, the the very first Black Knight. So feel free to stick around for the raid. Give him some love. Uh, again, I'm going to be back on Friday at 7 uh, p.m. Eastern uh, Eastern Standard Time, where we hopefully get rid of one more Shadow Lord, and um, and we um, and we uh, we now go for our th our third our our third um, our third uh, third uh, uh, third yeah third shard. Thank you, thank you everyone. Have a good night. Stay warm.